I'm so tapped up, and this isn't a game per se, but this is noclip.website. It is something you can access in your web browser. It's free, it's not really a game, but it, what this is is a collection of loaded in maps from a bunch of video games, pretty much all Nintendo, couple exceptions. Um, as you can see, mostly Wii, GameCube, a little bit of DS, a little bit of 3DS. Um, not really too much non-Nintendo. There's some Dark Souls, Psychonauts, some of the stuff doesn't load in very well. But what they did is load in the visual maps. I'm not sure what they used to export, but obviously there's some kind of export tool they used. And so here we are. Uh, the, the site doesn't have music. I just loaded up. I thought it would be appropriate to grab uh, some Ocarina of Time music here. So this is the Hyrule Castle map. Um, not entirely sure why they have the 3DS versions, but not the... N64 versions of the uh, Zelda titles, just for a little bit more nostalgia and just to see how some things work. We need to see those, but one important thing is that it's all pure 3D maps on the 3DS version, where some of them are um, actually pretty interesting, but like if we were to go inside most things, uh, or this is a bad example, but a lot of homes and stuff in Ocarina of Time, it's a 2D background with like 3D, uh, like, occlusion mapping. So, like, if you go behind a thing, it shows the map over you. But it's really just a 2D image. And it's pretty, it's pretty kind of obvious what's going on. But in, um... Oh, here's Ing here's Headless Ingo! There he is! There he is! Oh god, that's, that's actually even worse. Oh god. I'm so fast. That is terrifying! Great! I hate it! Thanks! Um... I don't... <laughs> So not everything loads in perfectly. Uh, there's a little bit of extra Z fighting you can see here, but it's a really cool tool to kind of see um, see some parts of the games. Um, if you've seen, if you've heard of Boundary Break, um, I never knew that was there. For example, that's a little drawing by uh, by um, um, Marin. That's cute. Moo, that's right, Parker. Um, so yeah, this can kind of let you see some tricks that they use to make make games look a bit better than they have reason to, you know, than they would be able to if everything was rendered quote-unquote properly, which... <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on here. Chicken feed, I guess... On day one is creepy old man feed day. Day two is Marin. Day three is Talon. Okay. Uh, let's load up a uh, good old Hyrule field. Man, I remember when this felt like the biggest map in the entire universe. Like, how could video games even do such a thing? So obviously, things like enemies and stuff generally aren't loaded in. Um, water sometimes does not load in. Like, it's it's not everything. It's not exactly like no clipping with a real, you know, N64 or 3DS in this case. Um, though that's much more complicated to do, of course, and even that might not work particularly well. Uh, it can be a lot of work to get these things figured out. Oh, that's Lake Hylia. You just kind of get... You can't really see it. You're supposed to see kind of down at this level. But this is kind of what it's neat to see in these kind of uh, no-clip situations. You get to see um, the distant stuff, and it's like, from the ground level, those trees look perfect. Those trees look like real trees, but then you go up here and you're like, oh. <laughs> because this stuff never gets seen, so there's no reason to put it there. And performance-wise, especially on N64, every polygon counts on N64. So, if they could save a little bit of effort by not putting in the back of Death Mountain, um, the game would run a lot better. And a lot better is, of course, relative, because <laughs> Ocarina of Time runs at 20 frames per second. No joke. So here's the house you can see. It's just neat to see all the little tricks, so... I won't spend... I'll, I'll take a quick look at a bunch of different games. So this is Luigi's Mansion 3D. I think, visually, I think it's mostly based the same as, uh... Hall is a little screwed up. But, um... <laughs> there's no front on the mansion because you never actually go. There's a different room, quote-unquote, quote in the, uh... In the, uh... Well, that's supposed to be a mirror, by the way. Um, there's a different thing in the intro. It's neat to see that everything is loaded in. Oh, well, most things are all loaded in, um, 
And it just loads in all the different rooms on the same map. Now, obviously, in Luigi's Mansion, it loads in one room at a time. Um, fun fact, um, I learned this from a speedrun, but this room is loaded in along with this room. So this room is like one of the laggiest ones in the game because there's a toad out here. This is that thing in the attic. I think out here is where you fight uh, the final boss. Obviously not everything's perfectly loaded in, but it's really neat to see and you can just load this up. Zero effort in a browser and just go to town. I don't know if this works on mobile or not. I'm, I'm just doing this on desktop using my mouse and stuff. But uh, really cool to see this kind of stuff. And you can see some neat tricks like, um, well, this is a kind of basic trick, but when you're out here, the camera is always fixed on this angle, so you can't see that the house does not have a face. Go down the well. <laughs> it's really neat to see these maps all put together in like one big thing. That's where you see Mario. I don't know, sometimes it's just like black umbras of doom, and I don't know exactly what. But it might just be an issue in importing and stuff. There's the Frosty Boy room. All right, the fancy gold boy room. Where's the attic? There it is. <laughs> see, not, again, not perfect, but uh, you can see some neat details. You can see some small little details. See how good they look. Um, it has, let's load another game. Let's keep it going, but um, it does have, where are you at? Thousand Year Door. Let's look at uh, Rogueport. No, the main square. That was, that was a bit grim. J just, not only is there a noose, but like a public hanging thing in Rogueport. And happy little, um, Paper Mario. I'm not sure what that cube is supposed to be. There's a little Moai head. As you can see, uh, the Z-fighting is generally... When you see Z-fighting in this thing, it's usually, um... Like a decal placed over the original texture. So these little um, side wall rock things, these are painted on on top of a secondary texture, uh, the primary texture. Oh, there's my channel. <laughs> if you look at it, it says Game Kuve. I, I don't know. I don't know what. I mean, with the big skull, I can only assume that's supposed to be game over, but I mean. They tried. They, they tried. It's the trash room! Oh, look at the little flies! Certain actors are loaded in. I think it's all like manual adjustments when stuff like that actually works. Um, some of the, the Mario Galaxy stuff had like enemies loaded in and stuff. They just sit there in their idle animations, but it's neat. Uh, one thing I noticed, there's JPEGs of real food in here. So like, obviously Paper Mario has its own like art style of, you know, paper. Um, <laughs> But some of this stuff that I guess you just... It probably looks better and is like really obscured in in the actual gameplay, but... You can just see these real human fruits over here. And I'm sure they just, you know... These are like barely visible in the back. Oh my god, that is like... Why is that so detailed for, for a GameCube background asset? This oddly detailed scissors. But this is the kind of stuff it's neat to see. Alright, so... One thing that is neat, but not quite as neat as you might think. We got the main field of Breath of the Wild. That's right, the whole frickin' map. But, I think it's only the lowest level of detail, textures, and... Um... Models. So... See the whole thing loading in here, but as you get close, you know, there's no there's no level of detail loading in. So this is Castle Town, and structures and stuff aren't loaded in. There's um, Hyrule Castle, <laughs> if you can even tell. Um, the lines, I guess, are where like sector edges are. Uh, but as it says, this is experimental. They might improve this. It would be really cool to see the whole freaking map in full detail. And there is something. Um, Kind of similar to this that we'll see in just a bit. Um, there's the Great Forest, there's Death Mountain. Uh, there's that other mountain that I forget the name of. Quite a few mountains in the game. There's that good old marsh. So again, this one... Neat to see the whole 
kind of scale of the map, but you only get super low level of detail, so. Oh, there's that um, that one island challenge. That was that was a that was a tricky one. I kind of regret not streaming Breath of the Wild. I was super. I just wasn't. I didn't have a Switch when it came out for one thing, so I I couldn't play it. And then when I got it, I just wasn't in the mood to stream it, especially since like everybody would have already seen that. I think this is like the Thunder Dragon region. It looks really weird, but again, super low level of detail loading stuff. So, um, Donkey Kong Country, oops. Donkey Kong Country is easy, to, interesting to see because they are fully 3D maps, but you know, it's a 2D game. So it's just kind of a really detailed little thing here. And then there's little extra stuff in the background. So you can kind of see how this stuff is put together. And so some of these maps are so small that, and you can adjust, you can do some adjustments here. Um, you can see individual textures if you want. Uh, it's a really interesting and robust tool. I'm surprised I'd never heard of it until today. I saw somebody tweeted about it, but you can see all the textures in here. Um, that's a bit more advanced than I'll do for this thing. You can change the camera speed, turn that down a little bit for, you know, things like this. Um, you can change the field of view. Oh, there you go. That's for you, um, Quake players, ready to go. Um, I'm not sure what the detail or the default was, probably about here. So you can see how these things are kind of put together. And um, I think the f my favorite one is, ooh, Metroid Prime. How's this look? Is the whole dang region? I didn't even know they had Metroid Prime, so. Not a ton of games, but I'm sure they'll be added. Tube. Oh yeah, that's the whole dang region. Oh, that is cool. So, if you really want to go in deep, I really do recommend playing around with this yourself. This is just kind of me showing off what kind of stuff is possible in this and what kind of stuff they have. Oh, this is really cool. Huge fan of Metroid Prime. And especially, Metroid Prime 2 is actually my favorite, I think. Um, I like the world a lot better. I do understand that people didn't like the, um, the ammo system. Though, uh, it's not as bad as you'd think, but eh, this, this video is not about that. There's a bunch of Mario Kart, um, levels. Moo! Moo moo! Um, the Mario Galaxy stuff looked particularly well. Oops. Um, they're not Mario Galaxy. Mario Kart, well, which was it? Was it Mario Galaxy? Woo! Mario's face ship. Mario's face ship is like disturbing. Um, all right, here we go. So these ones look particularly well like imported. I think a little bit extra effort. You can see they put in even the NPCs and stuff. Um, you can see where the coins and the stars are. And even the water textures and everything works. It's, um, is that me? I think that's me. Um, I think a little bit of extra. I think the the, the, the creator is obviously a uh, Nintendo fan and probably a Mario fan in particular, just judging by how much effort was expended on certain things. Um, Peach's Castle, sure. Oh, neat. It's even got reflections on the water, dang. Yeah, this is definitely, there's definitely a bit more extra effort um, put into fully importing these ones. Oh. That's really cool. I, I still haven't beat either of the Mario Galaxies. I know, I know. Someday. Um, Skyward Sword is pretty cool to see. Um, I love some tower. Let's get a nice outside map. A big one. I'd ah, oh, there we go. That's perfect. Um, ah, oh, jeez. Skyward Sword, another game I really need to play. I, I love the idea of the, like the painterly style. I just don't think the Wii could quite do what they were kind of trying to put out. I don't think it looked as good as it could have. Um, isn't there a remake though? Is this a remake or a remaster or whatever? I don't know how good that looks, maybe. Very fitting music here. Um, you can see a lot of cool stuff. So, speaking of Zelda, I wanted to specifically show you, where is it? GameCube. 
Ah, there we go. Uh, here we go. Oh, hey, it's just a uh, good old... I forget what the name of it. The, the island you start at. What's so interesting about that? Tap, tap. Oh, you can see the... Uh, no, dramatic um, double mailbox. Triple NPC. Oh, there was tri yeah. There's triple NPC. I like to call this pig Ganon. This is Ganon. He is a friend. Um, I always abuse poor Ganon when I play. <laughs> this is the music playing because of Helmarok over here. But wait, what's this? What's this? Uh, let me adjust the. Um, Camera speed. This is needlessly dramatic. No, no, we don't need that. Here we go. That's better. Much more fitting. Uh, let's raise that camera speed up even more. There we go. And you can shift to like really new it out. But it's got the whole Great Sea mapped out. Um, it's the Forbidden Woods or something. Uh, Great Deku Tree. I forget what some of these are. It's been a little while since I played uh, Wind Waker. There's the old uh, tower. And uh, there's some of the dice islands. Mr. Tornado. Oh hey, there's the um, th that first big town. Oh, and they put in the NPCs. They're kind of like... Just at default positions or something, but... It's still neat to see them, especially on such a big old map. There's Dragon Roost Island. I don't understand what he's doing on the volcano. Is he like pooping in to like the volcano or was? I don't like that. I guess it incinerates the pool. There's uh... I forget what the point of this island was. There's a lot of islands in this game. I don't remember each of them. Uh, if we look around... I think that's Tetris ship. There's that submarine thing. Um, it's even got the... Um, ah, these guys! The texture doesn't quite work on them. But uh, they're loaded in. There's the seagulls. <laughs> so you can just see the whole map. It's just... See the whole dang thing loaded in. Which is pretty impressive. Um, you can see some statistics. So the frame rate... The frame rate on this map is much lower because it has just freaking everything. It's usually about 5,000 frames per second for me. Um, you can save state and like, you can save um, this exact thing if you want to show your friend, like, oh, look, look, I found, um, look what I, I found this thing. Um, isn't this where you get, where, where, what did you get, like the, some fairy thing? Anyway, say you want to share that, you just go to here. Um, and you can save states, uh, I think. Load save, oh wait, load default save state? How do I save a state though? But anyway, you can get this URL and just share it on Twitter or whatever. Hold shift to save new state. Oh, I see. oh, so it prevents you from saving over your thing. Yeah, so if you want to do like a big project or something, or like you just wanted to save something you really really neat. You can just do a save state. It's a really impressive website. Uh, so there's uh, that thing where you first find Ganon in. What, what's this? Why? I forget why there's like a piece of a ship like stuck up here. Um, but what else is fun to look at? The Sonic Mania stuff is just like from the it's not it's just some random assets kind of loaded in. Um, experimental ones don't load in as well. Um, Mario Sunshine. Yeah, let's look at Mario Sunshine. So this kind of gives you the gist of it. You can also disable um, certain things, so like, uh, which, which is it in? Render hacks. Render vertex colors. <laughs> oh yeah, so you can kind of see the vertex colors that uh, kind of adjust the original texture. So like this is what it looks like without vertex colors, and they kind of make everything look shaded in because of the vertex colors. So pretty cool stuff, really. You can see a lot of different tricks. A lot of different games do a lot of different things um, to look good, better than they again, better than they uh, 
would reasonably be able to do without said tricks. Um, I think each game has different, like, settings for the render hack, Parker. And there's different layers that you can edit too, so like, render hacks. Uh, this is just the same ones. Oh goodness, that is bright. Um, Alright, here we go, layers. So you can, like, unload, like, these are models on top of the base model. So, like, these, these stones aren't, like, baked in there, they're, like, a separate layer rendered on top. And you can just see lots of different stuff, so... If you want to check it out, it's just noclip.website. Legitimately, that's that's the URL, that's that's a real top-level domain now. Um, so, link in the description, as always. Let's find... I love Songs Tower. Now, let's find a nice outdoor map, Lanyard Desert. No Twilight Princess, by the way? Let's see... Oh, here we go, Twilight Princess. Let's uh, see Hyrule Field. Oh, that's big. Oh, that, that reminds me. There's a different Hyrule Field I wanted to see. <laughs> I'm not even sure where you're supposed to be. Oh, I remember this bridge. I see Death Mountain. There it is. That's that boy. It's supposed to be like all way down in here. And barely able to see some of this stuff, but. Does that what Death Mountain look like in Twilight Princess? It's, again, it's been a while. Very nostalgic to the website, too. But there's one thing I wanted to show. Um, bum, bum, bum. Wind Waker. Hyrule Field. So, when you get here, you can barely see things. Um, I always wanted to see what Hyrule really looked like in this. And you get just kind of like a baby pool to walk around in, and you just gotta go into Hyrule Castle and do the thing. But, whoop! Oh yes. There's a surprising amount of stuff loaded in here. So like usually you just go through the castle, um, get your Master Sword, say hi to these things. Um, but there is this whole thing loaded in, and obviously lower res textures and everything, but it's really neat to see, just see the absolute scale of it. It's absolute unit of Hyrule. Woo! Mew! And there's kind of the waters up above. Really cool effect. And then you new back down in here. There's this beat up little bridge thing you got a hook shot across. The little spike pits. Just cool stuff. There's Ganon's Tower in the background. Hello, friend. Uh, what's this? Time of day? Really? I don't know you could edit time of day. So yeah, every every map has different um, info you could check in. I don't think time of day works in the Hyrule field. I think that's for... Under Link's house, for Sacred Fortress. I think that's more for, like, the Great Sea. Um... So like, damn it. Oh, not the, that's enough ocarina. Um. Ah, there we go! Yeah, so there's no date, time of day information for that map. Neat. <laughs> you can even see the lights turn on. Oh, so this thing, this is really cool. I really recommend checking this out. Noclip.website. It'll probably be um, added to more as things go on. Let's see the little, let's, let's close up some of these. Um, about noclip.website. Click and drag to look around. Yeah, yeah, this is kinda. Join the Discord by clicking here. Go preliminarily written by Jasper. Um, open source at GitHub. Oh, so you can see the source at GitHub. You can follow the Twitter here. Future quests and bugs, welcome. Some noun project, yeah. So, this is really cool. Definitely recommend checking it out. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.